Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jackie Aina. Hey, hit it! Jackie, 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 Jackie. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren Amanda, if you're new. And today I'm going to be doing the I Tried Following so-and-so's makeup tutorial. So in today's video, I'm going to be recreating or trying to follow um, Jackie Ina's look in this video right here. I'm really excited to do this video. It's shout out to Thomas Halpert who created this idea. A lot of techniques that Jackie's famous for I don't really do in my day-to-day -day routine, so some of the steps are going to be a first time for me. So if you want to see how I get the look, please keep watching. So the look I'm trying to recreate is the look Jackie did um, for the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. And uh, she moved pretty fast with all the base stuff in this tutorial, so I'm just going to start. I'm going to see what she does first. Jaclyn Hill had the opportunity to collaborate with Morphe yet again. She created another version of, I guess you can call this her favorites palette. It is the self-titled Jaclyn Hill palette. We're gonna get into more of the palette later. First, we're gonna start with base. So I'm gonna take Fusion Ink Foundation from YSL. This is a very, very matte and I would say about medium coverage foundation. So I don't have the YSL foundation, but I am gonna take a foundation that she used in a couple of her past videos when she did the review for the Maybelline products. And so I'm gonna take the Maybelline Superstay foundation in the shade B55 Coconut. Now, if you're a true Jackie Ina fan, you know that after she primes and moisturizes her face, she goes in with powder and sets the primer in place. So I'm gonna be taking my Maybelline Fit Me Powder and I'm gonna set the areas where I get the most oily because I have oily combination skin like Jackie. This is the first time I'm doing this, so. Well, I'll look ashy now, but I hope this, this rectifies itself. So I'm just gonna go in with the foundation. I'm gonna go in with my Real Technique sponge and blend her out. It feels so weird being on here without brows. Y'all know I usually come on here with brows on already. You guys have seen this process a dozen times. You guys know how I feel about Fusion Ink. I think it's a great foundation. So just, I'm just going through the motions just so that you know what I use. Now I'm gonna move on to concealer. So let's see what she put on. For the first time in the history of forever, I'm gonna be using Tarte Shape Tape. This is actually not my first time using this concealer, but as you guys know in my anti how I kind of stopped, well, I completely stopped talking about and promoting their products because of, um, I guess, just some, some harbored feelings they had about a review I did last year. It's funny that she was in that position and <laughs> she's using Tarte Shape Tape, and it's funny how now they're in hot water again. I don't have shape tape. I told you guys before on my channel, some things I just don't see the point of spending money on when you can get good duplicates somewhere else at a more affordable price. So I'm going to be using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. And Jackie, again, did use this while she was trying a bunch of new Maybelline stuff. So she got it in the shade tan and I also have it in the shade tan. I've been using it a lot um, for the first time this week and it's a really nice product. The only thing I wish is that it didn't have this um, kind of applicator because it's not sanitary for other clients. And then to contour, I use the Bite Beauty Multi Stick in the shade Cocoa. I still really, really like the radiance of my Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS, but Shape Tape is pretty good. I hope she does her brows next because it's so weird not having my brows on right now. Pretty much with any eyeshadow look, I expect there to be fallout, so I always leave extra setting powder underneath my eye. Today I'm going to be taking my Beauty Bakery Flower. This is in the yellow shade, and I'm going to take that and do some baking. Let's be real, this is the only time you'll catch me in the kitchen. Oh my gosh, this was the part that I was not looking forward to because I am scared to death of baking. Every time I've tried it before, it looked whack on me. But we're gonna do it for the cause. Ah. I'm gonna take my Maybelline powder again and get quite a lot on. I'm gonna 
pack it on. Oh, this is so weird. I never do this ever. I hope I don't come out looking gay. Okay, that was it. Who knows? Maybe I like it. I don't know about you, but some of us need some extra assistance with cheek bones. Don't judge. All right, so I'm baked to perfection. While that cooks up, I'm gonna fill in my brows with my yeah, favorite thank team, God. Uh, goof proof brow from Benefit and precisely my brow from Benefit. And then I'll seal it off with a little bit of brow gel. So again, I don't have that expensive brow product. I have, um, what I'm using is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, and I have it in the shade black. Hmm. I usually go for ebony, but they didn't have ebony at my Target that day, so. Mm -hmm. Definitely having a good brow day. Actually, I think I've been having a good brow week, girl. I zoomed y'all in a little bit more so you can really see what I'm doing. So to prime my eyes, I'm using my e.l.f. primer. I don't know why. Okay. Thank you! So today's look is going to be Poison Ivy Glam. There was a green look that I wore on Instagram the other day. Y'all were here for it. I think it just looked really good with the pink hair. So today that's the look we're gonna recreate. Well, a different version of that. I'm gonna spice it up a little bit. I know that the shadows have individual names, but guys, I don't even, they're, they're not even on the package. So unfortunately, I can't name them as I go. Shout out to Alyssa Ashley. So it looks as if she is taking the color under pukey, which is Roxanne. So she's going with this color right here. Now I'm gonna take this color here. It reminds me a lot of plumage from MAC and I'm gonna be blending that on the like inside outside. We're gonna do the halo thing. This is so dark. It's almost like a black green and I kind of feel like this can get carried away very quickly. I'm gonna take the E38 now and blend her out. Now let's go to a shimmer color. Here's where the real tea is at. This color right here, right next to the Emerald Jade, I'm gonna take that. Oh yeah, that's actually not bad. It's actually kind of popping. Chocolate. Chocolate Hill, girl. Oh, 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 oh girl. We got plans now with this eye. Babe, you wanna go see All Eyes on Me tonight? My makeup look good. We going out. Using Zulu Cream Gel Liner from ColourPop, I'm going to line my top lash line. You totally can skip this step or stick to black if you want, but I just like doing fun stuff with pastels, especially when I have fun, bright color for hair colors. And we're gonna wing it out, girl. I don't have the Zulu Cream Gel Liner from ColourPop, but I do have this liquid lipstick from ColourPop that's pretty light for me. It's called Naughty, so I'm gonna use that to line my top lash line. My favorite lash at the moment is Intoxicating from Flutter Lash. I'm gonna pop those on for the culture. I do not have those, but I have these from Vegas Nay. They're in the style Golden Goddess, so I'm gonna pop these on off camera. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with my bottom lash line. So I'm gonna take this color. This is slightly more of a fiery burnt orange. Got a little bit more red and put that on my, whoa, whoa, whoa. Was not expecting that much color payoff. Let me, let me scale back for a minute. Back to a little bit of that jaded green and just in the innermost, inner, inner, innermost bottom lash line. Pop that color in. I think we can add a little bit of this fun shimmery gold in our tear duct, just a little bit. Actually, I think I want something a little bit more understated. So I'm gonna take this color here right next to this cobalt blue. This one here, boom, little brother. That's a little more taupey and toned down. So I'm gonna take a drop of a hat Super Shock Cheek Shadow from ColourPop. I don't have that Super Shock Cheek. My sister actually let me use her ColourPop blush. It's from the Karuchi K-Pop collection. It's in the shade Flush. What I like about their Super Shock Cheek, most of them kind of have like a built-in highlight. So you see how I'm getting that glow 
all in one. Now Jackie said that the blush comes with a building highlight, but it's not enough for me. I just wanna put a little bit on my cheekbones. So I'm gonna take my iconic London Illuminator Drops in the shade Original. And I'm just gonna take the tiniest of dots since it's a subtle glow that she's going for. And since the, the eyes are so intense, so I'm just gonna take a little bit. And I don't have the lip combo that Jackie used, so I'm just gonna go in with my NYX products. This is the color Push Up, and I also have Club Hopper as well. And that is a wrap. A wrap, a wrap. Hey. So this is the final look, guys. How did I do? Oh my god, I think I did pretty good. Oh, and I snuck on a little bit more highlight. Don't tell anybody. But I think I did pretty good. There are some things from her makeup routine that I definitely think that I will implement in my own routine. Like setting the primer before foundation. I think usually when I finish my makeup, I am a little bit shiny around my um, forehead, but I'm not as shiny as I usually would be. And then, I also liked, weirdly, I don't think I'll do it every day, but I did like baking under here because you can definitely see the cut, like the line. It's dramatic. I don't think I'll do it every day, but I think that it looks nice for right now. That's why I love watching YouTube because, like, look at all this color. I would never wear this much color on a day to day basis. I would stick to my warm oranges and browns and like colors for the lid maybe a gold every now and then but i would never think to pair green and pink and orange together like all of those colors that she used it inspired me to use them and i really like the way it turned out yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up i want to do more videos like this i just felt like i had to do jackie first because i've been watching her the longest and a lot of people that I do follow now, I follow them because Jackie introduced them. So yeah, I just wanted to give honor and credit where honor is due first. Again, shout out to Thomas Halpert for coming up with this idea. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. And speaking of next video, I mean, might as well just do some shameless plugs of, uh, you know, my last tutorial, whatever it is, I don't know, I haven't picked it yet, but here's the link. Check it out, do what it do and enjoy. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.